Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton and STFs, and today we're taking a look at a Transformers Legacy figure that I've been waiting for for quite a while, and it's a character that's never really been made until this toy line. Like, there's been a couple of, like, in hand, or not really even in hand, just, like, a painted prototype of what it would have been, and that is going to be, as you can see from the thumbnail and title, Autobot Night Prowler. So, yep, we finally got him. Uh, so this would make our first Halloween Horicon kind of deco a reality. I believe he was supposed to be a Halloween Horicon. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But anyways, Universe character, he's an Autobot, because that's how Universe 2003 worked. There were no Maximals and Predacons, it was just Autobots and Decepticon. Optimus Primal was an Autobot, so that's what they're going with. And as far as I know... Only these guys are going to have the, you know, the, the three beasts from the Legacy line are going to be having the plastic windows. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I guess we'll find out with Wave 2 of Legacy. But so far, these three do have the plastic window, which, you know, I prefer that. Like, just this little bit of plastic for the, for the bubble or, you know, for the box. I don't think that's a huge problem because they've got all this nice artwork here on the side. It's not like what we used to have with the clamshell that was entirely plastic. Sometimes you had the other one at the back. I, I think that they can get away with just this little tiny bit of plastic. I mean, that that's not a big deal, especially if it's thin like it is. So I'm going to stop rambling. Got nice artwork here of Night Prowler in, I believe he's supposed to be a snow leopard, but it's a cheetah because it's the same mold as Cheetor. So you got that, the robot mode head there with the Autobot symbol, and, you know, 20 steps. So, yeah, let's get this guy open and check him out. All right, and here we have Night Prowler out of his packaging, and, of course, in robot mode. And right off the bat, he looks pretty good. Like, you know, finally having this Halloween horror con after, you well, I never, you know, I didn't grow up with the Beast Wars toys, but just learning about it and everything. It's nice to, you know, see this character get a release finally. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I looked it up after opening up. Yeah, he is a Halloween Horicon. And, yeah, right off the bat, I want to say he does have the same issue as, you know, Cheetor and Shadow Panther as well as the uh, Netflix shooter where the tab on the neck broke instantly as soon as I, you know, untabbed it from the body for transformation into, you know, he's supposed to be a snow leopard, but yeah, we already discussed that. So yeah, that's already a big problem I have with this. And as you can see, there are like two or three different shades of grayish beige. I've got one shade here on the bicep one shade here on the forearm and I think it's the same here on the fist and the paws it just doesn't connect right so I might get a second one of these and paint the correct colors I, I believe at one point or one of the prototypes had some blue on it I could be wrong but yeah I've just figured we take a look at this uh, so let's get this turntable out of the way and get it to the transformation here I mean, it's the exact same as Cheetor's. Usually I prefer to cut these down, but you know what? I, I feel like might as well show the transformation for those who maybe don't have Cheetor or haven't seen the review. I will point out, it does have an Autobot symbol right there on his forehead, just like we discussed earlier. He has an Autobot, really nice green eyes and gunmetal face. Got the orange, uh, or reddish orange eyes some yellow paint there mine's got a little bit of a blemish there just like a little glob of paint that oh, look at that just came right off so there we go for some reason he's got this yellow plastic here on the ankles but yeah not not a whole ton of detail other than of course the spots and the markings on the face for the beast mode but Articulation is the same, ball jointed head, swivel at the shoulders, forward and back, in and out, 360 at the bicep, 
little over 90 at the elbow. Wrists do indeed swivel, of course, but these are a little tight on mine. Uh, waist does swivel forward and back at, well, forward at least at the hips. Get that bunch back all the way up there. You of course, get the thigh swivel. Let's zoom out here. Yeah, a little bit tight. Less than 90 at the knee, but you get plenty back. And forward back at the ankle. And a full pivot. So yeah, I mean, weapon is the same. Kind of like this as a whip. Store it between the legs on the back. Whatever you want to do with it, set up the side. As long as you keep it with you. So anyways, transformation. Let's go ahead and start by folding these feet up. Pulling out the leg. I'll we'll just straighten it out to there. Leg there. It's that. And already that it's on its own, but undo these sections here. Bring the legs up like that. Rotate the head around. And pull this head up. Out. Close the mouth. Bring the head up over the robot head. Then from here, what we'll do is slide that tab. So you want to have the arm turned this way. Tad that into there. Rotate the wrist to where this lines up here. And we'll close up to there. Just like that. So same thing on this side, to there, and there. And this wall tab together just like that. And then just straighten everything out. Then, of course, reattach the tail. So there we have Night Prowler. Night Prowler in his beast mode. Oh, wrong way. Oh, come on. Come on, clock right here. There we go. And you know what? He looks all right, despite, like I said before, the multiple shades of beige gray. But yeah, for the most part, he looks pretty good. Like, guys, uh, I really hope someone does a new tail that looks a little bit more like a snow leopard, just a little bit more poofy looking. Because that's what he's supposed to be. He was supposed to be a snow leopard, not a white cheetah. And speaking of cheetahs, here he is with Cheetor. So we can bring that around here. I have to get all three on here, but here he is with Shadow Panther. So you can see he looks pretty good with the other two I mean for what it's worth so yeah not a bad cheetah mode uh, or snow leopard he's supposed to be a snow leopard uh, there is a slight QC issue on mine I don't know if it's just if it's me not remember yeah it's this left one likes to stick out a little bit further than it should I don't know if there's any like mold flash or something going on but it just likes to pop out if you barely touch it so Best just leave it out and not fuss with it too much. Uh, articulation, nothing at the head. So, yeah, nothing there. Get these swivel joints, of course, at the shoulder ball joints. So you can get it still to go out. Get the, I guess, elbow joint, the ball jointed pause. A little bit loose still. Forward and back at the hips. You get this. Knee joint, ball jointed, pause, nothing at the tail, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy back into robot mode. So, just go the reverse of what we did. So start by removing the tail. 
taking the, well, I guess kind of here, doing exactly how we started off with the legs. Bring those up. So there's the legs. And from here, split down the torso. We'll take the beast head, open up the jaw, bring this down. Oh, that's why. There we go. Then these sections will fold in. There we go. Straighten out the arms. Rotate the fist around. From here, it's just a matter of straightening up the beast legs on the back. And the ball jointed head. And there we have Night Prowler in robot mode. So, yeah, fairly simple, of course. It is your typical beast transformation where you just stand them up. So, yeah, so there's Night Prowler. Night Prowler. Oh, come on. And here he is with Cheetor. Walmart Netflix one. So if we can get Shadow Panther on here. So the three versions of this mold. I do have the regular one, but the Netflix one does look a lot better. Even though it is missing the blue paint ups on the shins, I do plan on fixing that at some point. But yeah, I really like how Night Prowler turned out. Even though it is just a simple repaint turned into an Autobot, I I still really dig that we got him nonetheless. Like, I, I hope we get the, the rest of the Halloween Horror. I mean, we're kind of getting that with uh, Parasite in the four pack with Toy Color Scorponok, uh, Goldbug, and Ransack. So now what we need is the repaint of Black Ragna. If they do it as a repaint of Black Ragna, they could do it as a repaint of Tarantulas. So who knows at this point? So the only one that would be missing is Leatherhide from uh, Soundwave. So yeah, I, you know, for what it's worth, I do really dig this figure. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but the whole like helmet piece here is painted. It is obviously a different shade of yellow than the uh, shoulders. Yeah, like I said, really enjoy how this turned out for what it is, like just being a straight repaint. But yeah, I mean, it's just the, the more of the history behind the character, you know, being a Halloween horror con that got so close to production and then never came out. And apparently it was supposed to be a Walmart exclusive, but that never happened. And so now it's a Walmart exclusive all over again. So things have come full circle with this guy. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm um, trying a little bit something new, you know, going back and forth with the transformations and whatnot. So let me know what you guys think down in the description or down in the comment section below. Uh, all the links to like, the original Cheetor video will be down in the description as well as all the other links that I usually shout out. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.